I'm Brian Davis for your Miami Hurricanes postgame recap. On Saturday, the Miami Hurricanes fell to the Duke Blue Devils up in Durham, North Carolina, as the Hurricanes fell to the Duke Blue Devils 27-17 in Durham, North Carolina, in their regular season finale in the final season, regular season finale uh, for the regular season schedule in the ACC Coastal Divisional play. As the Hurricanes only got were one point, were seventeen up seventeen fourteen to thirteen at the intermission. One point they were up seventeen to fourteen before, or seventeen to thirteen, and then Duke would go on to explode for fourteen unanswered points to put the game away for the Hurricanes. The offense was just been epitude, been overall, been just been inconsistent all season long. At one point the. The loss to F same thing as last Saturday night's defeat to FYU over at Marlins Park, and it kind of in a way for the offense it just kind of looked like they had some momentum. It just kind of regressed totally, including with a just an average, way below subpar inconsistency with the offensive line, interior of the offensive line Saturday afternoon or early Saturday evening in Durham. Looking at some of the numbers, Jaron Williams was 11 of 26, 142 yards passing, and a touchdown. Cameron Harris, 8 carries, 44 yards. He averaged 5.5 yards. Will Mallory, the, the, junior, the sophomore, 4 catches, 93 yards. And then, while the Duke Blue Devils, they were led by their, by their quarterback, Quentin Harris, 10 of 24 for 156 yards passing and a touchdown. He also ran for 49 yards rushing as well. He had a total of 205 all-purpose yards, averaging 6.2 yards per touch of the ball. Jalen Calhoun had three caught for three balls for 82 yards for the Blue Devils. So, with the loss... The Hurricanes finished the regular season schedule of the ACC Coastal at 4-4, four 6-6 four, six six overall, while the Duke Blue Devils finishes 3-5, and, and they end up going 5-7 and seven overall. They, by the way, ended, finished the season on a positive, snapping a five-game losing streak as the Miami Hurricanes end up finishing the Coastal Division with a virtual tie for third place in the ACC, they could most likely will finish ahead of Pittsburgh, who they beat out head to head for third place. Then it's uh, a good, ch and then Pittsburgh end up uh, where they get at least a share of third place with them, Pittsburgh and North Carolina, who they're playing. North Carolina State, as we're doing this taping, the score of that game is is unavailable at press time while that game is still in progress. Then it's Duke three and five, Georgia Tech two and six, three and nine. As also the on Saturday, it was the uh, Virginia Cavaliers upset twenty fourth ranked Virginia Tech in their rivalry game. So Virginia uh, Cavaliers wins the AC the Atlantic Coastal Division. They finished with a six and two record, nine and three overall. So now they will event as. Virginia will now advance to take on the defending national champion Clemson, Clemson the Tigers in the ACC championship one week from tonight at Bank of America Stadium down at Charlotte, North Carolina. 8 p.m. Eastern will be the kickoff time. As for the Miami Hurricanes, they finished the season with a 4-4 four and four record, 6-6 six and six overall. They will now, they are bowl eligible, so We'll find out within the next several days or the two week, few weeks who the Hurricanes will be playing in their bowl game coming up. And when we get the information, when the word comes out, go to hurricanesports.com. In the meantime, for the latest news on Miami Hurricanes football and other athletics, go to hurricanesports.com. Once again, the final score Saturday. From in North, North, the Miami Hurricanes finishing with a disappointing 2019 regular season. They lose to the Duke Blue Devils 27 to 17. The Miami Hurricanes finishes the ACC Coastal play with a four and four record and six and six overall. In the meantime, and the Hurricanes will learn where they'll be playing in a bowl game as they are bowl eligible. We'll find out 
in the next 10 days to two in several weeks time when the information becomes available please go to hurricanesports.com when that information is available in the meantime i'm brian professor B. davidson so long you've been watching miami hurricanes football postgame recap for miami or, or miami hurricanes